The following presentation of the Daily Mass is made possible by your generous donations to Catholic Television of San Antonio. The Archdiocese of San Antonio and CTSA invite you to join us in celebrating these sacred mysteries, listening to God's Word, and partaking of spiritual communion. Welcome to the Daily Mass. We are gathered today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we gather today, as we finish that little part of Lent, and people say there's 40 days, but if you do the math, there's a lot more than 40 days, because Sunday is always our celebration of the resurrection of the Lord. Our 40 days include these days that we've had since Ash Wednesday, and then, you know, it fits, fills in different ways, but six times seven is 42, so you know right there there's more than 40 days in the time period. But it isn't about the counting. It isn't about anything but being open and present to our God and using this time to deny ourselves a little bit so that we can realize what we need to do to draw closer to our God. So as we begin, I always change up and do the confidier during Lent. So we do that to remind ourselves that our sinfulness is not just things that hurt me, but they hurt the people around us as we pray to you and to you, my brothers and sisters. So as we begin in this Lenten season, let us pause, call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Therefore, I need the book. Wow, I'm used to have, you guys are being too quiet. I almost asked for this in the beginning, but no, I got this. We'll start again. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, look with compassion on our weakness and ensure us your protection by stretching forth the right hand of your majesty through our Lord, we ask this, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Thus says the Lord, if you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation and malicious speech, if you bestow your breed on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then the light shall rise for you in the darkness and the gloom shall become your, for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always and give you plenty, plenty excuse me, even on the parched land. He will renew your strength 
and you shall be like a water garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The ancient ruins shall be rebuilt for your sake, and the foundation from ages past you shall raise up. Repairer of the breach, they shall call you, restorer of the ruined homesteads. If you hold back your foot on the Sabbath from following your own pursuits on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honorable, if you honor it by not following your ways, seeking your own interests or seeking with malice, then you shall delight in the Lord, and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will nourish you with the heritage of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me, for I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post and said to him, follow me. He got up, he le and leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house. A large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with him. The Pharisees and the scribes complained to his disciples, saying, why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. I always love that Gospel. We have um, Jesus who is doing what we come to expect Jesus to do. But if we take ourselves back to his time, he's eating with the people that are in, enforcing the Roman law on the Jewish people. The people that are making money and they, take, they earn all their keep by collecting more than what Caesar's owed. And that's what they get to keep. And so the tax collectors were despised. And so Jesus goes and finds those people that are despised and spends time with them. And so many times we think, well, that makes sense to us. But I don't know that in many ways, many of us are much different. I'm always shocked in reconciliation when people say, come in and say, you know, it's been a few months since my last confession. I um, told two or three lies, and those are all my sins. Or even better yet, I don't have any sins. I'm here because I have to go once a year. I said, that's it? Oh, and my, my, my wife made me go. Go talk to your wife. She's going to give you a list. We forget that our sinfulness is every time everything we do doesn't encourage another person to holiness, 
that we've failed. Every time we're not that person that unconditionally loves, we have failed. When we're not spending the time we need to spend with God's children, and that's not just the children we like, but all of God's children, we have failed. So when we look at this period of Lent, and this period where we embrace that reality of a God that's called us to love unconditionally, I think the first thing, if we don't think we're very sinful people, is to listen to this gospel and say, we are getting more like the Pharisees, thinking we are above that. We need to realize that we are sinful. There are things, and even if we're not really doing anything bad, are we being as good and as bright and as much of a light to all of God's people as God calls us and challenges us to be? Let us now turn to the Lord, who showers us with abundant mercy. For missionaries throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit fill their hearts with zeal for the gospel and protect them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who seek to serve others in public office, may God grant them steadfast commitment to those in their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have strayed from God's covenant or rejected his promise of eternal life, may the Lord in this Lenten season help, see, help them see and experience his steadfast love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may we be strengthened by our prayers and by the Eucharist in which we partake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all faithfully departed, may Christ soon welcome to his heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy, you call us into communion with you and with each other. As you hear our prayers, help us, help us to hear your call and to love as you love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we are for you. Food of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands. Praise the Lord his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its working, we may offer minds pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world and hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Is he who comes from the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly, ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offering and pour out on them the power of your spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, he handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race the kindly and most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Bishop, Mike, and Mike and Gary, his auxiliaries. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Anthony de Padua, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy, then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now can dare to say, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. 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 Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe all that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already here, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with the gift of heavenly life, we pray, O Lord, that what remains for us in mystery in this present life may be for us a help to reach eternity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I thank our sponsors. I was on our cruise not long ago. And these people, after dinner one night, come and said, you look really familiar. Where are you from? And I told them nothing. And they kept looking. And by the end of the cruise, they said, are you a priest? I said, yes. And I said, why do you ask it was such a question? They said, well, we haven't seen you dressed like a priest. I said, well, I'm on vacation. And they said, we, we watched you on TV. So to our sponsors, thank you. They're not even from San Antonio, but that some, I don't know how far this feed goes, but they by the end of the cruise had figured it out that it was because of here and that this ministry just goes so far beyond what we know. And they especially thanked us for keeping everything going during COVID for this. So 
to our sponsors. They, these people told me, actually both couples at the table that didn't know each other put it together that it was from here. So thank you to our sponsors. It is very much appreciated. So have a great Lent. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, proclaiming the good news with your lives. help this very important ministry to continue by sending a donation to Catholic Television of San Antonio, 2718 West Woodlawn, San Antonio, Texas, 78228, or contribute online at ctsa.tv.